So when I look or assess a new technology, I really look for one of several factors, and sometimes they may not all be present in, in, in one uh, uh, advancement. Uh, either it should be able to allow us to do something we were unable to do before, uh, sort of an entirely new way of doing something. In, in endoscopy or in gastroenterology, usually that means a less invasive uh, way. Um, hopefully, it'll, or it could allow us to do something but do it in a better way, more effective with better outcomes. Um, hopefully, it would be as safe or safer or provide a safety advantage. And of course, in general, as we do things in a less, um, in a more minimally inv invasive way, uh, with less uh, uh, intervention and less hospitalization or operative time, that usually leads to a cost savings. And so uh, if we can sort of save the health system money and provide uh, the same outcomes for, for less, I think that's obviously uh, an advantage. And so, again, these things sometimes may be competing forces. We may not see all of them, but, but ideally a, a new technology that we can get excited about uh, or a new technique would ideally have one or more of these components uh, within it. Bringing technology into your practice is something we all strive to do, uh, but again, it can be at times challenging. Uh, there involves sometimes learning a new technique or learning how to utilize the technology, uh, so there's some training that's involved. Um, there can be some cost in acquiring any capital that may be needed. If there's a disposable, depending upon your practice environment, whether it's an ASC or a hospital, you may need approval uh, to get that, and that's often dependent upon if uh, it's actually got insurers who are actually willing to pay for it, which is often the stumbling block that uh, can be the most challenging. Uh, so I think that uh, really each individual physician should look at uh, a, a, um, a new technology and see what the advantage is, what's the available data, how much does it bring forward, and, and what potential advantages it have compared to what they do. And, and in some cases, uh, certainly in my own practice, we've brought in things that may not necessarily have uh, an economic uh, benefit necessarily, but we do it because it's the right thing to do. But in many cases, uh, these new technologies are also, uh, it turns out, uh, economically uh, the better choice as well. So, so these are some of the challenges. Uh, it requires certainly uh, a physician keeping up to date with all these uh, technologies, and that's actually one of our aims as well in the CGIT is to help bring membership uh, an update on sort of what the latest in innovation in gastroenterology is to help them decide which uh, techniques they may want to incorporate in their practice. I think uh, GI innovation is proceeding on many levels. I think certainly there are sort of broader healthcare system uh, changes that may involve digital health, uh, which uh, Dr. Kumanduri has been working on, uh, including mobile devices and, and sort of uh, better communication uh, of information within a health system. Uh, certainly we're working on better diagnostic tools to detect cancer, minimally invasive ways, potentially even non-endoscopic ways, um, or at least improved endoscopic ways, uh, as well as uh, novel therapeutics, uh, which really have taken the place of minimally invasive or even open surgery in some cases and made them the realm of endoscopy. We think the sum total of all these advances are really going to be uh, less need for invasive procedures for patients uh, and better treatments for them when they do undergo these techniques and overall uh, we hope to really improve the quality of healthcare and improve the patient experience.